Hello and welcome to another video of machine learning do it yourself. This is a continuation of the previous video which talks about frequently used R commands. Here we're going to talk about some other commands which are generally used for understanding the data. The first one is range. So range is going to give you the minimum to maximum value. Let's do range. So for now, I'm using this data frame, my df underscore cust. Please note that this data may be different from the data which you have created in the previous hands-on exercises. Uh, please don't worry about the differences between your hands-on versus what's been shown in the screen. Let's focus on the concept. So range. Range shows the minimum is 24 and maximum is 50 age. Next is difference of the range. What is the difference? It's a very good function to understand what is the data spread or what is the minimum and maximum and what is the difference between them. So let's go back. The difference between maximum and minimum age is 26. Now let's get into the data. Understand that R is just a platform and tool provided to you and data science is an art and a very deep science. So you have to understand the data in detail in order to get the maximum information out of it. So quantile plays a very important function part it is the spread of distribution of data in this curve. This is an ideal bell curve, but it doesn't have to be like this. It can be, you know, stagnated and that's what the quantile function does. It provides you the range of probability distribution into continuous intervals. So let's see what quantile would do on sales amount or age. Let's first see the difference of sales amount. 1700 difference. And let's see, let's see the quantile of sales amount and age. Please note that the minimum is 24 and maximum is 50 age and based on the spread the 25% comes at 26 50% is 34 which is the median and 75% is 43.25 by 100 the top you, you can see it divided from 0 to 1 displayed in percentages so if you don't mention anything the probability distribution is 0 to 1 and in buckets of 5 4 which is 25% each Let's go in detail on quantile and let's do this on sales amount. This is the spread of the data uh, from 0 to 25, 50, 75, and 100. What if the, there is a lot of data and you want to do in detail analysis, you can use the probability distribution function as shown here. As I mentioned, the collection minimum and maximum start with 0 0.1 to 0 0.99 as I mentioned this cannot be less than 0 and this cannot be more than 1. I would strongly recommend for you to do this and see the difference on this on this video I'm going to show you the first one and see the difference can see the difference at 10 percent this is not 24 it's 24 70 99 percent it's not 50 it's less than 49 50 which is 49.32 please try out on tell functions and this is another variation of quantile 
sequence from 0 to 1 by 0 0.5 which means that from 0 to 1 increment by 0 0.15. Next set of frequently used R commands, sequence. Sequence is another important function. These are the variations of sequence. This is SATS R norm 20 or 1 comma 9 increment by 2 or 0 to 1 decimal incrementation by 11. Let's let's try these set commands. Let's execute the sets of sequence command. This is just a increasing number from 1 to 20. And let's do it's the same. Let's try. 1 is to 1 comma 9 by 2 this shows an increment by 2 starting from 1 to 9 let's change it a bit you can see that the number 8 does not appear because the 2 after 7 would be 9 and that's why it stops at 7 This is to find out variance, VAR, and ST is standard deviation. Choose variance. Choose standard deviation. Let's use table command. It's one of the most important commands here at in R. So table my gender would display the distribution of the gender. Let's see that. This shows that there are six female in the data while 12 male. Top dot table would show the proportion of distribution of data. Let's take a look. Top means proportion of distribution. You can see 33% female and 66% male. This is another way to do the same thing. You create a my table variable and then prop dot table on the variable. Please do this hands on. Now, hands on exercise number seven. Display range, quantile, variance, and standard deviation for income and age from myDF underscore cust data frame. Display the same for inventory and price for my data frame and display table for marital status proportion from my df customer data frame which you have created earlier now let's do some more frequently used r commands for handling csvs which is very important and this is going to be used in the next videos to load a csv file we're going to use read.csv is the keyword this is a variable and this is the location of the file and string as, as factors which we have understood earlier let's load the file this command loads the data in load my csv let's take a look can see the CSV data is loaded into this data frame. This is for your hands-on. Here the 
attribute header equal to false, we'll make sure that there is no header included in the data. Let's take a look. Please remember that header attribute will make sure that the data is loaded without the headers and even produce inventory produce type where the actual headers in CSV are now part of data and not the heading. The headings are v1, v2, v3, v4. There you go. And the last thing to write CSV, this is the command. Uh, data frame file which you want to save it and if row names are present in the data or not. Please try this write.csv function on your own. In the next set of videos, we're going to start deep into data science, plot some graphs and now we will focus more on use cases rather than just R. Thank you for watching.